Okay, welcome back. Um, this is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and this question is now number 19 from the Cambridge um, 0580 specification, October, two um, October November 2021, paper 2, variant 2. Um, this is about Venn diagrams, and it says, in these Venn diagrams, we want to shade the given regions. So we got A complement to union B complement first. Okay, so something like this, um, when you have these type of questions, you have to um, understand that this, you have two different types of relationship. You have intersection and you have union. Okay, and intersection means basically and, and union means or. So this can be thought of as and, and this can be thought of as or. I also think I like to think this as frowny face and this one as smiley face. Okay, so when you have union, it's like um, it's, you can think of it as the smiley face. It's the one that's easy. So A complement means everything outside of A is going to be included no matter what happens after that. So I'm going to include everything outside of A. So that's what I'm going to do first. All the parts outside of A are included no matter what happens next. Okay, so all of... That's everything outside of A. So I'm just shading every part outside of A. So all of this is included. And then we got to shade everything outside of B as well. So you can see all the stuff outside of A is already shaded. So I'm going to now shade everything outside of B. So basically all of that's already shaded. What's left to be shaded is this part here. So the only part that's left unshaded is this here. So all of this region is what's included in A complement union B complement. A complement A dash means everything outside of A, B dash means everything outside of B. Okay, so that that's everything outside of A or everything outside of B, that's all of it. Some people like to do it in this way where they basically do the following. They take the shading of one part in one direction and the other part in the other direction. So they would then shade A complement in this direction. Uh, sorry, B complement in this direction. So they would shade B complement in this direction. Okay. Which includes all of this part here. That's everything outside of B. Okay, so shade them in different directions. And anywhere where there's shading is going to be the part that's included for A union B, A complement, union B complement. Now, if it was A complement intersection B complement, then we would then just shade the regions where you have two shadings because that's what, what's outside of A and also what's outside of B, both of them. That's outside of both of them. So then we would get rid of the shading inside A and B, and we're left with the shading on the outside. But in this case, when you have union, anywhere where there's any shading at all is included. So we can see that it's all of the areas inside the, the circle and outside these two circles, except for the intersection that's included. And we can also think of this as the same as A intersection B, all complement. As you can see, that's like everything except for the intersection of A and B. This and this are equivalent to each other. Okay, so in the end, I'm just going to shade, as I said, I'll, just, I'll do it kind of a bit neater. Now, when you do your shading, you must make sure you always use a pencil. Because if you don't use a pencil, you're going to mess up your whole diagram. And, if you, you know, it's going to be difficult for you to correct it if it's in pen. So always make sure you use a pencil. Okay, when you're doing this type of shading, always do that. So here we have everything except for the intersection. That's what this includes. Then we have C union D intersection E complement. So basically, our basic part that we have is C union D. So I'm going to shade all of this first. I'll shade all of C union D. Okay, and this is why it's important to do things in pencil. Okay, so I've shaded C union D. Okay. Now, intersection with E complement. That means what we, what we need to shade has to be outside of E, but it has to be part of C and D. 
So this part cannot be included because this is intersection. This is a strict one. So I have to get rid of anything inside E. So all of this part has to go because it can't be inside E, but it must be inside C and D. So if it says outside of E, that includes this area here, but I can't include it in our shading because our shading must have only C and D in it. E complement intersection C union D. So you can think of it in two ways. You can say, think of it, it's, it's U, C union D without the E part. Or you can think of it as it's everything <coughs> outside of E, except it must be in C and D as well. So it can't be in this area here because that's not part of C union D. So this is the answer for 19 um, part, well, it's just one question here. So these two questions, I guess you get one mark for each of those. All right, so that's the answer for number 19. Set notations and Venn diagrams, shading. Um, if you would like to see other questions from this paper, you can click on the link that will appear in this area. If you want to see other questions from the topic of set notations and Venn diagrams, you can click on the link over here. I'll take you to the playlist for that. And you can um, subscribe to my channel by clicking on, on here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.